In this video, you'll see how to use bridge line and design line from 3M Nifos Tape to create a custom design using the inside outside point techniques. No plotter and no pre production necessary. Normally, when installers try to create a custom design using standard Nifos Tape techniques, they create overlapping layers. For the outside area, this is not so much of a problem. But for the inside lines, the edges have to be cut precisely to ensure a uniform corner. This takes time and runs the risk of cutting the paint. What it also means is that the installer has to make one, two, three, four, five pulls for the outside line, and for the inside area, there's no place to start. To work around this problem, you can use the inside outside point techniques developed by Phil Aquin, head trainer for 3M Nifos Tape. To begin, place bridge line over any wide gaps, in this case, between the front fender and door. Next, Use design line to frame the shape. Starting at one point, run the design line along the desired body line. When the first point is reached, loop the design line in the outside area, being sure to keep the tape flat and stress free. This is the outside point technique. Then, overlap the spot where the point will be and continue on to the next point. Always use an application glove to seal the design line onto the surface. Repeat the outside technique again and move on to the next point always being sure to pull from the roll. Do not grab the tape and pull as this will distort the line and create asymmetry. Now it's time to set up the inside point. Using a dry erase marker, mark the spot where the corner will be in the design. Lift the design line back up and place a squeegee under the mark. Using a sharp blade, cut on either side of the string and do not come in contact with the string itself. Release the squeegee by setting up vertical first to minimize the tension, then apply the design line back onto the paint. Pivot the design line on the relief cuts, being sure to keep the adhesive side of the tape facing towards the paint. From here, simply work to the next point, which in this case is another inside point. Simply repeat the exact same steps. Mark the spot, pull the design line back, place the squeegee under the mark, make relief cuts top and bottom, pivot the design line, then move on to the next point. In this case, it's back to the start, which means the design line simply overlaps the line placed at the start. No need for the outside point technique. With the knifeless tape set, apply the film over the top. If the film is overly aggressive, be sure to avoid picking the material up and down during the process as it may lift the knifeless tape off the surface. Always go over the film and set the lines with a finger to ensure a tight seal and lightly heat and form the inside points to make sure that they are sealed. To begin the pull, always start with a line that was placed last. Now, Phil is working towards the first corner, which is an inside point. Once the line reaches the point, stop and don't continue the pull to the next leg. Instead, attach it safely out of the way. Next, pull the green tape that is on the inside area of the film to the corner. Once it's released, this will ensure a clean entry of the line into the next leg. In this case, another inside point. Stop the string on the corner, pull the wrapping film away, release the green tape just to the corner, pull the line right back to the next run, place a finger on top to hold the edge down, then release the line. This now brings us to an outside point. Halfway around the loop, stop and secure the line again. Take a piece of scrap vinyl and place it on top of the intersection. This will help keep the point flush to the surface and ensures a symmetrical cut. Repeat the exact same steps for the remaining two outside points. Once cleared at the top, work towards the last point, then remove the excess film. Pay special attention that when removing the green tape, always pull towards the points. This keeps the points from jumping up and wrinkling. The final step is removing the bridge line from the wide gaps, and here, standard procedure is used. Before the job can be handed off to the customer, always go over all the edges with heat to make sure that they are sealed and the main surface area to check for bubbles. And here is a shot of the final result. You can never tell that this was done by hand, and that's the beauty of the inside-outside point techniques. And now for the inside-outside point overview. This technique frees installers from having to rely on plotters and production work. Instead of relying on standard knifeless tape techniques that requires five pulls and two question marks, it was only one pull for this entire design. 
Inside Outside Point Technique allows installers to customize on demand, which opens up the door to upselling customers and making higher profits. For more information on 3M Knifeless Tape, you can go to this link. And if you're interested in taking a 3M Knifeless workshop or becoming 3M Knifeless endorsed, you can click on this link. This video has proudly been produced by the Rep Institute.